Welcome to our fascinating world of elements. As we embark on this journey together, you'll come to realize that the universe around us is made up of a dazzling array of elements, each with its unique characteristics. Broadly speaking, these elements can be divided into two categories, metals and non-metals. Now, let's dive a little deeper into what these categories mean. Starting with metals, these are elements known for their capability to form negative ions when they engage in a chemical reaction. Imagine a party where metals mingle with other elements, they're like the charming guests who graciously give away their electrons to others. This generosity is what makes them form negative ions. A prime example of a metal is aluminium, a common material used in everything from soda cans to aircraft. On the other side of the spectrum, we have non-metals. Now, these elements play by a different set of rules. They do not form positive ions when they participate in a chemical reaction. If we continue with our party analogy, non-metals are the ones who prefer to accept electrons instead of giving them away. An example of a non-metal element is oxygen, a crucial element for life as we know it. But wait, there's more to this elemental party. In between metals and non-metals, there's an interesting group called metalloids. These elements exhibit characteristics of both metals and non-metals. They are the social butterflies, sometimes acting like metals and sometimes like non-metals, depending on the situation. One of the most remarkable differences between metals and non-metals is their ability, or lack thereof, to conduct electricity. Metals are like the superhighways for electric charge, allowing it to move quickly and efficiently. That's why they are used in wires and electronic components. Non-metals, on the other hand, are not good conductors of electricity. They're more like narrow, bumpy country roads, providing lots of resistance and making it difficult for the electric charge to get through. So there you have it, the wonderful world of metals and non-metals, each with its unique behaviors and characteristics, and the versatile metalloids that straddle the line between the two. Understanding these categories is a stepping stone to comprehending the vast and intricate universe of elements. Until next time, keep questioning and keep exploring.